All right, welcome everybody. Um, thanks for joining Utopia Now, what brands need to know. Uh, very excited to be sharing some additional information with everybody about Utopia Now, which is coming here in six weeks and not in August. Um, I wanna go ahead and introduce our panel. Uh, my name is Katie Goulding. I'm the Director of Sales for Utopia. Um, and I'll be um, kicking off our slides here in a second, but wanna um, have my team introduce themselves as well. Hi hey everyone, my name is Ashley Poggenstecker. I'm our event specialist for Newtopia Now and excited to answer all your brand questions. Hi everyone, I'm Gina Matthew and I am the Director of Project Management and I am leading our Conscious Connections Matchmaking Initiative for Newtopia Now. And hi, I'm Jessica Rubino. I'm the Vice President of Content. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you guys. And um, welcome everybody again. And as we're jumping into Newtopia now and talking about this um, one of a kind event, it's a compliment event that we've designed to um, complement our Expo West show, uh, but very different in that it's uh, very meeting centric. Um, uh, very matchmaking oriented. Uh, the design is around curated brand and buyer connections. So very excited to talk about the brand participation at Newtopia now. So Ashley, go ahead and get to our next slide. Um, when we were thinking about creating Newtopia now and the future of events, we were really thinking in terms of a celebration of conscious and natural products and more of a festival-like feel. So we, um, we really wanted to facilitate the deeper buyer and brand connections in a more intimate um, experience for brands participating and the buyers attending. We did go to our um, buyers uh, initially and, and have really um, worked with them for feedback on how to create this event that would have them engaged um, and excited about meeting uh, new brands and, and participating exhibitors. Um, so they really, uh, the buyers really shared resoundingly um, feedback that they were looking for new products. Um, new innovations, new trends. They were also looking for brand context and one-to-one -one networking um, with relevancy through uh, our education and uh, networking events. Uh, go ahead, Ashley. Um, when we're thinking about how brands will show up at Newtopia now, uh, go ahead and, and one more slide. Thank you. Um, we thought in terms of packages because some of the buyer feedback that we got was they were really looking for um, uh, multiple touch points with these brands. They wanted to understand and see the brands and sampling environments and thought leadership environments and brand awareness environments. <clears throat> so participating brands have a package of a, a fully turnkey booth with uh, furnishings and activation, which is a sponsorship um, shelf uh, space with their flagship product in the market, and then access to our one-to-one -one matchmaking. <clears throat> so the buckets of sponsorship where brands can participate kind of at a higher level where they're sharing either brand stories or product launches, um, there's these three buckets. So thought leadership is one opportunity. This is um, stage time or product spotlight or guided buyer tour where we're bringing the buyers to your booth. Um, brand awareness is another sponsorship opportunity um, that can be part of the package. This is for new product launches, press release, marquee signage, um, getting your name out in lights at the event. Um, and then the third opportunity is sampling. So this is a secondary sampling opportunity where we have uh, your products in a tasting bar, in a registration area, or at some of our networking events. Go ahead, Ashley. Um, and then the thought leadership um, packages um, have these different opportunities around um, one of my favorite things, Stoop Talks, which is where we have an interview style from the Stoop Talk stage. You can share your brand story and initiatives and talk um, to our audience um, <clears throat> about uh, your initiatives or brands. Um, and then that Stoop Talk also has a video takeaway, which is a really nice um, asset you can have post-event. Um, other options, we're doing um, networking events at Meow Wolf, uh, CSU Spur Campus Tour. Um, we have stage takeovers and some really lovely curated dine around um, dinners um, themed around our neighborhoods to connect those buyers and brands together. Go ahead, Ashley. Um, and then brand awareness, some of the options there are, are natural food, um, merchandise or advertising, a lounge sponsorship, 
um, some product sponsorships. Um, and these include, uh, you know, promotions throughout the event, marketing, um, uh, highlights, on-site signage, push notifications. One more, thank you. And then the sampling opportunities. So we're doing an um, amazing event up at Red Rocks where we'll have um, our sponsors doing sampling. Uh, we'll have cooking demonstrations on the show floor. Uh, we have a bespoke cafe where we're also doing sampling. Uh, we have a salon in the Glow neighborhood for conscious beauty products where they can um, in, in, uh, work with the attendees in sampling and, and have real um, time sort of uh, interaction with, with the brands and the products. We have a lovely um, group of retailers that have been really engaged with us from early on. You can go one slide more, thank you. Uh, these are some of the, the uh, retailers that are participating. We have everybody from independents in the natural segment, um, chains, uh, big box stores. So really excited about the participation on the retail side. And we can do one more. We have a lot of different um, great uh, brands participating in, in all kinds of categories, um, beauty, supplements, food, um, nutrition, uh, women's health. So these are some of the brands that are participating. Uh, we do have a full list online too, so you can see everybody that's um, exhibiting or sponsoring. And then New Newtopia now is really designed um, to engage early stage and emerging brands. So our buyers, um, that we engaged with and surveyed early on, uh, reinforced in a, a focus group during Expo West that um, they really are looking for new products. They're very interested in that. So we have a lot of new brands participating that have not done a New Hope event before, and that's, that's really exciting. Um, and then really design this event to be very turnkey for these brands. So the furniture packages included, um, there's a lot of the turnkey opportunities that, that we just mentioned. Um, it's an opportunity to get in front of these CPG buyers that we, we showed. And then um, we have the market where your product will be featured there and scannable so the buyers can start that product discovery. Perfect. And I'll pass this to you, Ashley. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Um, the market is a really exciting opportunity for all of our exhibiting companies to be able to share um, for our brands, share an empty product package or a shelf stable product on a retail shelf. And so this categorization is coming from our Beacon platform. This is meant to look exactly like a grocery store where our retailers and buyers are familiar with the setup and able to find the product categories, categorization that they're looking for um, in a really great way. And so part of um, the placement of the market, we have it up by our registration area. That's a very high trafficked area. So we're really excited to have it up in the beautiful Bluebird Ballroom at the convention center. Um, another favorite feature that I like to talk about with the market is for every brand that is represented on a shelf, we're going to have two QR codes. One QR code is going to drive people to the Beacon profile page. And so having your flagship item on your Beacon profile will help um, make sure that all your visibility is there with your ingredients, suppliers, any information that you have through Beacon will be on that first QR code. Our second QR code is going to take um, anyone scanning it to your profile page on our Newtopia Now event platform. And that's really great because if you are a part of a stoop talk or going to one of our community experiences, this will show. So that way, anyone who scans and is looking at your um, virtual profile page, they'll be able to see other ways that you're active in the show. And just again, to help bring those uh, curated matchmaking and networking events um, just you know off the trade show floor and you'll be able to meet with people. So a really great way to have um, your, your brand and your, um, your company represented without having to you know have it, someone at the booth or have someone speaking about it. Um, this is a nice representation of what our market's gonna look like. Again, we're really going for that uh, grocery retailer setting. Um, and the next slide is going to talk about a couple different setups that we have. And so all day, Saturday and Sunday, our team is going to be helping set up the market. This is when you can hand deliver that empty, um, empty product or a shelf stable product. And you'll be able to sign off. That way we know we have your product. You can look at how it looks on the shelf. Um, all of that will be there to answer your, any questions that you have. Um, it is one product per brand. I know sometimes we've gotten questions where um, there's a whole SKU put together with multiple products. 
it is your flagship product from Beacon. And so again, just that one item will be represented on the shelf. And then um, the market is going to be open for all of our show hours, but also most importantly for our neighborhood networking night on Sunday. So I just would like to reiterate that it's um, really important on Saturday or Sunday that you bring your product beforehand. Um, the market will be open for that opening night reception and um, it'll be fully accessible for all of our attendees. And so we're really excited to have that kind of as our debut showing, showing the market. Um, and with that, I will now pass it over to Jessica. Yes, well, thank you. And Katie, I did see a question come in asking if there's still time to participate as an exhibitor and what that cutoff is. Fantastic. Yes, there is definitely time. The packages are turnkey. Um, our matchmaking opens at the end of this month. So I, the time is really um, now to, to book your space and um, we can help you walk through all of that and expedite your, your onboarding. But yes, time to exhibit. And um, of course, we'd love to have you join us. Um, thanks, Katie. And I see another question about Beacon Login. We will go into that um, in depth in just a couple of minutes when we talk about matchmaking and Beacon and all things connections. Um, all right, so what will my schedule be? So obviously Katie and Ashley did such a great job of showing what it will look like for you as a brand when you're you know, setting up and the different ways that you can participate. In terms of the experience at large, definitely plan on coming in on Sunday. Sunday is really going to be centered around community experiences and matchmaking. We have wait lists available for our Meow Wolf and CSU Spur activations. So if you have not signed up for that and you are planning on coming, make sure you got on the wait list for that. And we are opening some spots up as we go through and get closer to the event. And then our Conscious Connections Plus meetings with hosted buyers, those will be happening on Sunday. And then, of course, we have a really great big kickoff event, which will have tons of great networking and really an opportunity to get familiar with the people and the space at the convention center. Monday is when the show floor opens. So Monday is all about discovery and community experiences, matchmaking and education. So our content starts. The show floor is open. The neighborhood content is happening. Each of the neighborhoods, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a second, we'll have a stage with lots of great um, content happening there. And then we'll have speed networking and matchmaking meetings as well as meetups. And on Monday night, we have diner rounds. Diner rounds are invite only events, but if you're interested, you can email me. I'll put my email address in the chat and we'll be curating groups of brands, retailers, investors, and others in the community for special dinners based around the themes of our neighborhoods. Then we go into Tuesday. Show floor is open once again. We have neighborhood content happening and then our show floor tours, which are really an amazing opportunity for exhibitors to get in front of retailers. Those are at capacity. So we have tons of great retailers signed up for tours on the show floor before it opens, which is a really cool thing happening Tuesday morning. Then we have more speed networking, this time for our retailers and our brands and additional meetups happening throughout the neighborhoods. Finally, plan to stay through, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, because we have a couple other great things happening. Zen Among the Rocks, which is our version of yoga at Red Rocks Amphitheater, and then a really great uh, brunch for women in CPG. We have some amazing speakers and some really great networking opportunities for brands at retailers and others in the space. And I believe we still have a few openings for that. So one of the things that really sets Newtopia now apart is the show floor layout. Now, when Katie was talking about all of the different ways that you can participate as a brand, I think it's really nice to think about that in the context of this neighborhood setup. So rather than a traditional pavilion layout, we have four neighborhoods that really represent the themes that we believe are driving innovation and cultivating community within the CPG industry. So those four neighborhoods are Represent, which is a celebration of multicultural products and diverse founders. Regenerate, which is all about companies and business models that are supporting the health of people and planet. 
Glow, which is a really cool space where we're highlighting innovations in conscious beauty and wellness, and Thrive, which is all about innovations in human health. So your booth and activations will be happening throughout these different neighborhoods. And as I mentioned before, we'll also have a stage in each neighborhood. We'll have different experiential activations, such as a salon in Glow and a cafe in Thrive, uh, really cool things where buyers and brands can connect in a different type of environment. So a couple of the programming highlights, and I do just want to note, like I have edited, majorly edited down our original presentation, which we had a webinar a couple of weeks ago. If you're interested in learning all about the programming, please do check that out. You can find the on-demand version on the Newtopia Now and newhope.com websites. But a couple of things I wanted to highlight are our buyer side chat. So throughout the different neighborhoods, we're going to have key retailers. We have Whole Foods, Thrive Market, Sprouts. Uh, so many others coming to the stage to share what they look for in emerging brands. So what this means for you as a brand is that you can be at your booth or, you know, overseeing your activation and then head right over to a stage to hear directly from retailers who are a really important part of our programming. So that's our buyer side chat series. We have keynotes, Carla Hall, Dan Butner, and the Vitamin Shop CEO, Lee Wright. Those will be happening throughout Monday and Tuesday. And then, like I said, the different show floor activations and as Katie had pointed out different brand presentations so you as an exhibitor will hopefully be participating in some of these thought leadership opportunities whether it be our stoop talks or having a whole stage to present your vision and educate retailers and now I'm going to turn it over to Gina who's going to talk about conscious connections and we'll also um, discuss some of that beacon stuff that we got a few questions about You come too far to watch opportunities pass by, so why not leverage the power of Newtopia Now's Conscious Connections? Your journey to more meaningful connections starts with a simple check for an email to the event platform. Step one, explore the event platform. Log in with your registered email and set up your password or request a magic link if it's your first time. Once logged in, you'll land on the event homepage where pink buttons guide you to exhibitors, agenda, speakers, and more. Step two, Navigate effortlessly and find what you need without the hassle. Discover matches that matter with our recommendations tailored based on your interests and profile. Click on Conscious Connections Matches to see personalized matches and refine them by bookmarking interests or dismissing irrelevant recommendations. Step three, check the Beacon Discovery section for links to learn more about brands and their flagship products, all of which meet our high standards for ingredients and marketing transparency. Step four, ready to engage with retailers and brands? Schedule meetings in no time. Choose dates, invite participants, and select convenient locations, all in one place, streamlining your planning. Create and manage meetings effortlessly under My Meetings. Stay on top of your agenda and maximize your event experience. Step five, access all your meetings in My Meetings and stay organized. Make sure to review and edit as needed to ensure smooth interactions. Connecting with purpose and seizing opportunities has never been easier. Request access today and make your next connection count. Thank you. And thank you to our wonderful video team for creating that um, that step-by-step. Uh, -step. I appreciate it. Um, now I just wanna walk you through um, the steps to meet your match. So. Once you become an exhibitor, you would um, log into our Newtopia Now event app. Everyone who is an exhibitor at the show has access to that app. Um, so make sure that you go in and fill out all the details so that you have a very robust profile. Our, um, and then um, you can ex explore the event platform and um, look at what other brands are doing, check out our retailers. Um, we will be opening up um, the attendee access this week. And so make sure you have everything filled out so that when our attendees start logging in, they'll be able to see your profile and all the details. Um, and make sure that you have your products uploaded into for Beacon Discovery. And I'll go through a little bit more detail about Beacon Discovery later. Um, and then you would basically click on your ideal match, um, your retailer or whoever you wanna ma match with, 
create a message to connect. And once they're connected, you can set up a meeting um, to meet at the Conscious Connections Lounge on the show floor. Ashley, next slide. Thank you. So how do I ensure my brand and products are visible to CPG uh, buyers? And so this is, I want to say, one of the most important steps for all our brands. We want to make sure that you have uploaded your product details onto Beacon Discovery. If you are a um, exhibitor at the show and you have not done this, please um, email our um, audience success team. That's audience success team at newhope.com. And um, that team will actually guide you through the whole process. They'll walk you through what you need to do, answer any of your questions. Um, you heard throughout the whole presentation regarding the market, um, for conscious connections, for everything. We're using our Beacon Discovery, which is our product discovery platform to help enable these matches. We also want to make sure that each of our brands have picked their flagship um, products that will need to get uploaded into Beacon Discovery and also your product for the market. So um, if you have any questions, please uh, make sure to email audience success team at newhope.com. Um, some other ways that you can make some connections, you know, throughout this whole um, time we've been hearing about, you know, curated connection. So we're, we've created so many great opportunities for everyone. Um, we have our conscious connections matchmaking, which is the um, AI powered matchmaking um, process. And this is through um, what you've put into Beacon Discovery and then the registration questions that our attendees have um, answered. And so these, those two will, you'll get basically AI powered recommendations. And then we also have um, speed networking during um, Monday and Tuesday. And these are 45 minute um, networking events. Um, and then um, community meetups, which are very casual, uh, meeting on the show and designed to spark conversation with various industry partners. And it targets different themes and interests during um, our show floor hours. Um, and then we have our community, community experiences, which is fun opportunities that we have for everyone to um, go out and experience Denver and also meet with um, our um, brands and uh, retailers. Next slide. And this is just a more detailed um, overview of the schedule of what we've done to help with providing curated connections. I know Jessica uh, went through a few, a lot of this, so I don't want to go into more details, but just calling out, you know, our CSU Spur community experience. And then our um, at night, we have our neighborhood network um, networking night in partnership with Naturally Network. And so that's a fun opportunity. We have a really cool um, agenda for that night. And then um, our conscious connections matchmaking is throughout the day. So you can set up a meeting for any time during the day to meet, um, to meet with whoever you want. We also have our speed networking, which is targeted for investors and brands. And then also the meetup, which is um, funding for the future and, and um, similar theme of investors and brands. And then on Tuesday, we have our speed networking, which is um, targeted for retailers and brands, and then our meetup for um, positive for people and planet for conscious CPG community. And next slide, thank you. Um, and we went through the different community experiences. We do have a wait list and we're trying to offer um, a couple more spots. I know there's some interest being shown about all this. So please make sure to sign up on the wait list. And Ashley, I don't know if you have anything else you want to share about the experiences. Yeah, we are working on adding capacities. And once we're able to do that, there will be communication going out. Um, so I just appreciate everyone's patience as we are um, trying to add some capacities to the different experiences and get that organized. So um, definitely stay up to date on our social media pages via LinkedIn or Instagram. Um, and that's how we will communicate once that waitlist is open. When that waitlist opens up, you'll be able to go back into your registration and add yourself to the waitlist for whichever experience um, you're hoping to get to. So more will come there. And again, thank you all for your patience as we work on that.
So I do see some questions that have come in. So maybe we can address those. And then um, I don't know if we're planning on opening it up uh, and bringing everyone on as a panelist so we can see people however we want to do it. But there are some questions here. So um, one, uh, Gina, I think this would be good for you to address. So this person has been getting emails from Informa and New Hope asking for product information to help set up product online in Pinto. Is that part of this? Yes, it's very important that you um, respond to that email because we need your product on Pinto in order for it to get onto Beacon Discovery. Um, I'm trying, can attendees download? Yes, you can download the app to participate in matchmaking. Um, we will have the app live July 25th. Um, this week, we'll actually have attendees access the web version of the app. So if you're a brand that's registered for Newtopia, please make sure that your profile is completed, you're registered, so that when our attendees are um, have access, they'll be able to go in and look at your companies. And then another question about matchmaking. I saw that you answered this, Katie, in the chat, but maybe just sharing for everyone what that looks like. Like if, if you want to meet with a retailer, but you don't meet their criteria or vice versa, how does that work so that you actually have a successful match? Yeah, it's, it's very much about what Gina said of really being active on the platform and making sure all that information is updated so the buyers can find you. Um, and then it is a double opt-in. So you'll be able to accept those invites. You'll have the AI generated um, suggestions. Um, you can also decline any meetings that don't fit with your with your goals at the show. Um, so we'll work both ways with the buyers and the brands being able to to do the double opt in. And I think one thing that that does is just ensures that it's the right match, right? So that if you are having a meeting with a retailer, you know that you have the types of products and meet the criteria that they're looking for. So while it won't always be a match, I think that we're doing a lot to make sure that we're setting brands up for success and having those meetings. The other thing is, you know, some of this is formal matchmaking. And then Gina pointed out all the different forms of connections um, and platforms that we have for that. So I would encourage everyone to absolutely be fully active in the platform make sure you have all your information up to date and also make yourself really available at the different curated networking opportunities and things that we have going on throughout the show floor and Denver because there will be tons of retailers participating in in all of those activations as well um, speaking of retailers someone asked when will we have the full list of retailers who are attending available and how can people see that so Katie do you want to take that one yeah the so right now we have a list online it's at the newtopianow.com website um, and it's a drop down of who's attending and that is updated daily so um, keep an eye out there for yeah before the apps open for you to see who's there but also you can check online I also see a question about the booth. So I have got, I've heard this question a lot, like the fact that we provide the furniture package. Does it have to look like a cookie cutter booth or Katie, do you have any ideas or recommendations on people who want a more custom booth experience, but obviously having that provided booth package as the foundation? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a couple options. So the the back wall to the booth is a is a fabric back wall and it prints really beautifully. So we work with a GES as our show decorator. Um, you can go through them to get a back wall printed. <clears throat> they can do it the full width and length of the, the backdrop. So it's really pretty. Um, and then uh, if that's you know, not within budget, you can also just bring your own freestanding back wall. Um, and then of course, if you need to add shelving or refrigeration or any of those other sort of dem uh, display items, you can also do that through the exhibitor service kit and through GES. Perfect. Uh, for the question, are exhibitors able to go to all the stages? Yes. So you can go anywhere on the show floor if you're exhibiting in Globe, but you want to check out the keynote in Thrive, head over there and everything's really accessible and easy to navigate um, from wherever you are on the show floor. So all stages are available to everyone. Let's see, we are local and plan to bring our booth material and samples on our own. Did I read that we cannot use? Oh, can, can local people use a U-Haul van? Yeah, you can. 
definitely suggest for any of our like load in questions or I saw um, a question come in about team members in the exhibitor center and the error message of the user is not in the event. Um, our client services team is able to get into your registration. They're also very well equipped to answer any load in questions with different material handlings. Um, and we'll go ahead and put the client services phone number and email in the chat. They will be able to help answer any of those more logistical questions. They can also help with if you have specific booth questions about what you can bring, they'll, they can also help you with that. And the exhibitor service kit has a lot of good detail on that as well. And Katie, related to that, I just see a couple questions in here about people, and maybe this is Katie and Gina, just people who are getting error messages or aren't able to get in to let, aren't able to log in, things like that. What is the one email address that people should reach out to if they're having any issues across any of the platforms? Yeah, audience success, and we'll drop that into the um, into the chat as well. The audience success email. Um, question about the number of retail buyers who will be attending. Um, this person's just trying to get an overall sense of the size of the show. Yeah, so we're targeting 7,000 for attendee numbers. Um, we are targeting 60% of that to um, be buyers that are qualified. And then um, we're really excited. I just looked at the numbers this morning and we have 60% to goal for that number. So we are getting very close. And I also want to add that we are beefing up our already robust hosted buyer program. So um, that's really exciting too, that we have an amazing group of buyers that are part of this program that are doing our Conscious Connections Plus matchmaking. And um, we have some really great retailers, certainly some from Expo West, but also new to New Hope event retailers as well, particularly um, in the beauty and wellness space. So it's fun to see a bigger hosted buyer program than ever before. Let's see, are there any questions that... Um, oh, let's see. So uh, how early can I have a call with any of you to participate and or can I do? Yes, Mira, ask ask away, I think, and um, definitely connect with Katie on specifics um, to get involved as an exhibitor. But if you have other questions, we're happy to answer them here, too. Are there any other questions? And Jess Elliott, if there's any questions you saw that we didn't get to, if you want to throw them in the chat again. Um, so yes, so Sean was just getting a little bit of clarification. So back to the booth question, they can use their usual custom booth and not use any Newtopia Now booth stuff. Is that accurate? So no, um, because the fabric back wall is holds up the whole row of booths. So, um, uh, but please, why don't you reach out to me um, at kgolding at newhope.com and we can we can chat through what you're what you're talking about bringing. <clears throat> yeah, Sean, we'll make sure you can have a beautiful custom setup, but maybe just a little easier because we're providing some of that. I saw Mira had a hand up. Apologize if I'm mispronouncing, but um, please feel free to put it in the chat or go on video. Let's see, I think we might have to make Miro a panelist to ask. Todd or Jess, are you able to if anyone wants to ask a question live, make sure they can hop on camera real quick. Mira, I just allowed you to talk if you want to jump on here. Hi, Miro. Let's see, we can't hear you, but it does look like you're off mute. So I'm not sure. Oh, uh, hi there. Hi. Thank you, everyone. 
uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. I, I wasn't aware of this. And fortunately, I got an email. And uh, my main point is I see that you already have waiting list. So um, I would like to participate with my brand. Uh, we are going to participate now in Cosmoprof in uh, July in Vegas. And but this is much closer to our branding um, uh, proposition. I, I like that very much. I browsed yesterday a bit. It's um, I like the idea. So compliments. I would like to join, but you honestly tell me if it's a bit too late. I understand that it's not formally late, but if the list are all full, <laughs> it's definitely late. <laughs> So Miro, I did you capture my email in the chat, Kate, Katie Golding? Let's um, connect. Let's connect. But no, um, what's sold out right now are some of the networking events that are pre and post the show floor days. So there's certainly time to exhibit, and we will be opening up some of those networking events. So at this point, we're not sold out on the show floor. And I think, you know, for anyone else who has similar questions, I think it's a good question, Miro. Like, if you're seeing that some of the opportunities are sold out, like, what else is there to make sure you have a really robust experience? I mean, I do want to note we have tons of networking and different fun things happening throughout the week every day that are fully open to everyone. Those are just a couple of the off site experiences that we've reached capacity at. But um, really, in terms of, you know, having opportunities to connect with buyers and others in the community. We have happy hours on the show floor. We have our kickoff event. We have meetups. We have our um, diner rounds, which it sounds like you're probably in the beauty and wellness space. So we have a glow dinner that's specifically for brands. Reach out to me. I can reserve a spot uh, in there. So I assure you, you will have a very robust experience, um, even if you know, you're not able to get into a couple of those networking events. So those are a really cool part of Newtopia now, but certainly don't represent the totality of what we'll have going on at the event. Thank you very much for letting me in. And so I'm going to send an email to Kate, correct? Yes, thank you, Mira. All right, thank you. I see um, a question that came up about lead retrieval. And this is um, part of through our contractor for the show, GES. Um, Katie, I'm not sure if you want to chat more about that, but I do know our client services team can go through all the devices with lead retrieval and what all is needed there. Yeah, so you you can uh, purchase a lead retrieval, which is a badge scanner is what that that is. And then you have the app for the networking and the um, the meetings would be um, through the app, through our swap core, through our Newtopia Now event app. Any other questions? And maybe, um, I don't know if, if anyone wants to chat with us and have, we have until, um, well, we have about 20 more minutes. So we could probably go ahead and put this slide, take this slide down and open it up, make all of our attendees panelists and bring them in. Let's chat. Um, so we're going to bring everyone in. You can ask your questions. Still feel free to ask them in the chat, or you can pop your camera on and um, and ask them live. Uh, and if we answered your questions, thanks for joining us and reach out to Katie for more specifics. I can help with a badge question that's in the chat too. So we have tabletops that include two badges, uh, five by 10, which is three. And then our 10 by 10s have uh, four and 10 by 20s have six. So thanks, Katie. And yes, you do not have to accept being a panelist, but don't don't be afraid of the word panelist. We're really just <laughs> bringing you in. You're not going to have to present. Although, Miro, you did a great job presenting on why you think Newtopia now is really cool. So thanks for that. It wasn't, these were, those were not seed comments. Um, <laughs> Katie, 
Katie, question about the five by 10. Does the five by 10 have space for an extra table? The standard setup seems to be a bit small for both display and sampling. Yes, you do have, um, it's 10 feet across and five feet deep. So you do have room to add in a table. Um, the, the package comes with a counter and a chair and there's some storage underneath the counter too. And then your logo is included on the front of the counter. But yes, room for extra tables. Um, yeah. How wide is the counter, Katie? Uh, I think that's two by six. Yep. Did we answer, Katie, did you answer the lead retrieval question? Yeah, I think okay. I'm I'm not sure. I mean, the lead retrieval is the badge scanner. I'm not sure if you were asking like what spe specific equipment you need, but that you do rent a badge scanner. So um, you can also buy licenses off of, oh, I think Robert's popping in. Maybe Robert can help. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Oops, sorry, just changing my lighting. In my room. <laughs> um, so for that, yeah, the badge scanner, um, yeah, lead retrieval, there are kind of two different main options. You can either on your own smartphone download a kind of basically an app with a login. That's one of the options for lead retrieval. Uh, one of the other options is that you would rent basically just an iPhone that has that app downloaded onto the, onto the system. So um, you can either bring your own device or rent one specifically. I believe uh, it, it is cheaper to just bring your own device and use your own uh, login on that one rather than renting. Oh, we have a question about the tabletop setup and our tabletops, um, that will be a one, one table that is six feet wide and that will come um, with a skirted countertop. Just a reminder though, for all of our tabletop displays, if you have a, um, you know, marketed or you have your logo on a, um, what, what's the word I'm trying to use that my brain is failing me right now. Um, but if you have your own tablecloth that you'd want to bring that's branded, you're more than welcome to. Um, and you can just overlay that over the tablecloth that is provided. And all the skirting, I believe, is going to be white. And one thing um, that I think is just important to reiterate is that the booths are really important at Newtopia now. And we've crafted our packages so that it's really easy to have both a booth and an activation, all the things that Katie pointed out. So the goal is to really make sure that you as a brand are getting out there and sharing your story and sharing your products and sampling in different ways. And there's those three buckets of sponsorship opportunities that Katie outlined. So to be thinking about your booth as an important part of your experience, but not the only part of the experience, giving you you know a little bit more freedom to be out there having meetings and, and um, you know, overseeing your activation on the show floor. So we're just encouraging our brands to really participate in lots of different ways, including but not exclusive to the booth experience. So on the there's a question about displaying the logo um, at the tabletop. So you have counter space, you can put signage on. There's also room to do a narrow kind of um, pop-up banner behind you <clears throat> for um, a sign or logo or whatever you want to display there. Uh, Mac, I will put my email in the chat right now. So um, yeah, email me specifically about those diner rounds that we'll be organizing for Monday night, as well as other things I can share of uh, how to get involved and we'll make sure you have an awesome experience. It's jrabino at newhope.com. Any other questions? This is great. I feel like we're answering lots of questions.
And this is the fun part too, where like our team members come on camera and like, <laughs> like Robert, you're like, hello, I have all the answers. So we more than likely have a person here, even if they're behind the scenes who can answer your questions. Oh, Jennifer, love that question. Um, are there skincare products or is this just a food product show? Absolutely. We have so many amazing beauty and wellness companies and we have a whole neighborhood dedicated to that. So the Glow neighborhood, while not just topical beauty products, it's a ton of skincare products as well as overall wellness and um, holistic beauty products. So that's a big pillar of this show. And we have a uh, conscious beauty pitch event as well, which has a really great prize package, a monetary prize, as well as some really great retail prizes. And um, we also have a ton of beauty buyers that are coming. We have Ulta, who will be on stage and one of our judges for the beauty pitch and tons of other beauty and wellness buyers coming to this show in particular. So that's been a huge focus for us. And um, yeah, we'd love to we'd love to chat more with you if you're interested in exhibiting in GLOW. All right, maybe we'll give it a minute or two if anyone thinks of additional questions or comments or just wants to chat. We have 13 minutes. We're always up for a good chat too, so. Yes, so you do have to register to join the different events. And like Ashley said, um, those are the networking events that are happening off site on Sunday and Wednesday. Um, we have a wait list. We're working on opening up capacity. And I think, Ashley, do we currently have more openings for the women in CPG? That one's not at capacity yet, right? Or we already opened it up. We have not been able to open them up quite yet. We are still waiting on um, adding to those capacities and then also adding our waitlist options. So um, we're hoping by early next week or end of next week, we'll be able to send out some communication just with, again, more guidance on how to either add those to your registration or to get on the waitlist. And then all the other networking events and matchmaking and all that is included, open, available, does not have um, capacity. All right. I think that might be it. <laughs> Last call for questions. Kate, I just sent you an email. And so as you have uh, 10 minutes, we can connect. Sounds good. I'll reach out here shortly. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Looking forward to chatting with anybody that, that has more questions too. We're all we're here to, to uh, get you the right answers. Well, thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you in Denver. Hopefully reach out. And um, yeah, we appreciate you taking the time and all of your questions.